in this video we're looking at nematode worms. This is Turbotrix, uh, called the vinegar eel. Now, nematodes have uh, a thick cuticle around their bodies that they molt as they develop. This cuticle isn't very flexible, which keeps their bodies nice and tight, which means they can have a high internal pressure, which is what gives them this hydrostatic skeleton they use to move. They also lack circular musculature. Other worms have circular muscles and longitudinal muscles. These guys only have this, the longitudinal, which is why they move so crazy in this whip-like fashion. Um, also, with this high pressure, they need a pharynx, uh, this muscular piece up near the head that will push the food into their bodies cause, because their bodies are under this high pressure. Now here I've slowed down the movement of this uh, nematode so that you can see this undulatory sine wave type motion. As you can see, it's not a very efficient way to move. Uh, so typically these guys live in aquatic environments. Uh, a lot of them are parasites. In fact, there's one that's a human parasite called Ascaris, which is actually about, I don't know, five inches long or so, something like that. Um, also, you can see here the uh, effort that it takes to, to change direction. It has to coil its body almost into 360 degrees and then whip itself back in the other way just to change direction. So, very inefficient way of moving. Um, nematodes are very abundant. I, I read a report saying that uh, somebody once found 90,000 of these guys in a piece of rotting fruit. So, it's highly likely you've probably eaten plenty of these throughout your life. 